Hello everyone, this is Gracie here. In this video, we will be discussing problem number 2.6. So the question here is, a factory uses job costing. The following data are obtained from its books for the year ended 31st December 2015. They have given information about direct materials, 90,000, 75,000 direct wages, factory overhead, 45,000. And selling and distribution overhead 52,500, administration overhead 42,000, profit 60,900. Prepare a cost sheet indicating the prime cost, works cost, production cost, cost of sales, and the sales value. The B point in 2016, the factory received an order for a number of jobs. It is estimated that direct material will be require, required will be 120000 and direct labor will cost Rs 75000 what would be the price for these jobs if factory intends to earn the same rate of profit on sales assuming that sales selling and distribution overheads have gone up by 15% the factory recovers factory overhead as a percentage of direct wages and administration and selling overhead as a percentage of works cost based on the cost rates prevailing in the previous year so this is similar similar problem like problem number 2.5 so we will be calculating this problem so you'll have two cost sheets the uh, current period cost sheet and the estimated cost sheet so we will first prepare the current the uh, uh, current periods cost sheet and using those figures we will find out the percentage of our each for each overhead like works overhead fact uh, that is nothing but factory overhead uh, then administration overheads and then for selling and distribution overheads then after finding the percentage we will use that percentage for calculating your estimated cost sheet so now first let us prepare the current periods cost sheet This is the cost sheet for the current year. <coughs> uh, current year in the sense, we, we can consider it as the previous year. And the estimated cost sheet can be considered as the current year. So we will go according to the date. So according to the question, the factory uses job costing. The following data are obtained from its book for the year ended 31st December 2015. So all these information is for the year 2015. So they've asked us to prepare the data for the year 2016 by giving these information. So let us first prepare the data or the cost sheet for the year 2015. So now cost sheet for the year ended 31st December 2015. They have given information in the question for direct expenses. So if you get into your direct material, direct wages, which belongs to your direct expenses to find out your prime cost, which is direct material 90,000, direct wages 75,000. So we will consider direct materials 90,000, direct wages 75,000. Apart from these direct expenses, there, is, there are no other expenses which are direct. So the total of this will be your prime cost. So 90,000 plus 75,000 will give you 1,65,000. So after your prime cost, you will check about your factory overheads. So in this question, they have given directly factory overheads is 45,000 so you will consider factory overhead 45,000 so now prime cost plus factory overhead will give you your works cost 1,65,000 plus 45,000 will give you 2,10,000 so next is your after factory overhead you need to find out your administration overhead so here you have your administration overhead 42,000 you will be considering in the problem the solution administration overhead 42,000 so after finally adding up your administration overhead with the works cost you will be getting your cost of production so 2 lakh 10,000 plus 42,000 will give you 2 lakh 52,000 which is your cost of production so after getting your cost of production you need to find out what is your selling and distribution expenses let's look into the question where they have given you the expenses of selling and distribution Yes, they have given selling and distribution overhead, which is 52,500. So we get into the solution. 52,500 as a selling and distribution overheads are being considered. So cost of production plus 
2 lakh 52,000 plus selling and distribution over at 52,500 will give you 3 lakh 4,500 which is your cost of sales so now you are supposed to find out your profit the profit so let us find let us look into the question have they given any information about profit so if you get into the question they have given profit in the question directly which is 60,900 so you will consider in the question 60 profit 60,900 so cost plus profit will give you your sales so cost is 3,4500 plus 60,900 will give you 3,65,400 Now, after preparing your cost sheet, we will be calculating your working note. Working note is to find out the percentage using the figures of this cost sheet to find out the uh, to find out the percentage. From the percentage, we will be preparing your estimated cost sheet. So, let us get into the working working note to find out the percentage. So, this is a working note. So, as per the question. For the estimated cost sheet, you are required to find out the overhead percentage from the from the previous year's data and, and prepare the estimated cost sheet. So this is how we will be preparing. So first one is your factory overhead. Next you will have administration. Then you have selling and distribution. Then you will find out your profit. So we will check any information or regarding this calculation is given in the question. So this is the question. In 2016, the factory received an order for a number of jobs. It is estimated that direct materials required will be 120,000 and direct labor will cost Rs. 75,000. Okay, the direct expenses are given in the question, so you will consider it directly. So next, what should be the price for these jobs if the factory intends to earn the same rate of profit on sales, assuming that the selling and distribution overhead has have gone up by 15%. The factory recovery factory overheads as a percentage of direct wages and administration and selling overheads as a percentage of works cost based on the cost prevailing in the previous year. Yes, they have clearly explained in the problem stating that your other expenses that is your factory recovers factory overhead as a percentage of direct wages and administration and selling as a percentage of works cost using your previous year data. So your estimated cost sheet uh, factory expenses selling and distribution and administration will be found out using the percentage of your previous year's data that is the, the data which is there in 31st December 2015. And there are slight changes in selling and distribution. They have told that if it has gone up by 15%, how are you going to find out? So that will be that calculation also will be done here. Then calculation of profit on sales. So let us get into the working note. So this is your working note. Percentage of factory overhead to direct wages as per the question. So your your cost sheet for the year ended 2015. So based on the formula percentage of factory overhead to direct wages, the formula will be factory overhead divided by direct wages into 100. So factory overhead divided by direct wages into 100. So what is your factory overhead is? Factory overhead is 45,000 divided by direct wages which is 75,000 into 100. So 45,000 factory overhead divided by direct wages into 100 is equal to 60 percent. The cross multiplication technique is also taught, you, taught to you all in the previous videos. So which will give you 60 percentage. So your factory overhead is found out based on your taking your base as your direct wages. Next is we will find out your administration overhead taking your taking the base as your works cost. So your administration overhead for the previous year's data is administration overhead is 42,000 and your works cost is 2,10,000. So the formula would be administration overhead divided by works cost into 100. So how much is your administration overhead? 42,000. How much is your works cost? 2,10,000. So 
42,000 divided by 2,10,000 into 100 will give you 20%. So next they have, they have asked, you will be having according to the problem selling and distribution overhead. So in the question, we have selling and distribution overhead 52,500. So selling and distribution overhead will also be recovered taking your base your works cost. So, but in the problem they have stated, the selling and distribution overhead will go up, up by 15%. So when it's going up by 15%, the selling and distribution overhead as per the cost sheet which is prepared for the previous year is 52,000. So 52,000 into 15% will give you 7,825. So how much is it? 52,000. 52,500 into 15% will give you 7,825. So you will add that increase. So you will add that increase. 52,000 plus 15%. 15% 15 is on 52,500 into 15% 15 will give you 7,825 which will be when you add your selling plus increase increase amount you will be getting 60,375. So now your selling and distribution overhead is 60,735. 735 so the formula will be to find out the percentage selling and distribution overhead divided by works cost into 100 the selling and distribution overhead is 60,375 divided by 210,000 into 100 which will give you 28.75 percentage so you have found out your work factory overhead taking your base as direct wages then as per the question your administration overhead taking your base as works cost and selling and distribution overhead with the increase as per the question which is stated it is increased by 15 percent you have done that base and and taking the base on works cost you have found out the per percentage for your estimated cost sheet so using this data we will be finding out your estimated cost sheet and your we have stated that percentage of profit on sales also to be found out so in as they have told percentage on profit on sales profit on sales we have the previous year's data based on that we will find out the problem so as the question states percentage of profit is on sales profit is 60,900 and sales is 3,65,400 so 60,900 profit divided by sales into 100 is a formula for percentage of profit on sales. So 60,000 is a profit, 60,900 is a profit divided by sales which is 3,65,400 into 100 will give you 16.67 percentage. So this can be converted as 1 by 6. So 16.67 divided by 100, 16.67 ones are and it is and it is sixes are will give you 100.02 so it will be 1 by 6 so 1 by 6 on sales so you need to convert it to cost so i will tell you why you need to convert it to cost so 1 by 6 of sales means it is 1 by 5 of total cost this is one method of finding out or you can use the other method here percentage of profit to be calculated Calculation of profit on sales. Assume sales to be 100 percentage cost plus profit is equal to sales. So your sales will be 100 percent here. So in this problem, previous year figures are given. Based on that, the profit percentage can be estimated. Yes, previous year figures are given. Based on that, we will find out the profit percentage. But in your estimated cost sheet, we will, have, we will have only cost price. We will not have your selling price. So the formula will be profit divided by cost because the selling price is not there. So we need to take the base as cost price. So this formula will be easy because we have only cost price. So previous year profit is 60,900. 60,900 and the cost is how much? 304,500. So 16, 60,900 divided by 304,500 into 100 will give you 20% on cost. You can either do this method or you can either 
follow this method this method you need to find out first as per the question you will find out on sales and then you need to convert on cost if you know the if you know the conversion table then it is simple for you all as a conversion table will not be familiar to everyone it is better to take the formula profit on cost because in the estimated cost sheet you will, you will have only cost price so based on that you need to find out so now let us fire, let us prepare your estimated cost sheet so this is your job cost sheet statement showing estimated cost and price of jobs in 2016 your direct expenses is given in the question so your direct expenses as per the question is as per the question is in 2016 the factory expenses factory received an order for number of jobs it estimated that direct material required will be 120000 and direct labor will cost will cost 75000 so uh, your direct material will be 120 and direct labor is 75 that is what is taken in the question direct material 120 direct wages 75000 So direct material plus direct wages seven one lakh twenty thousand plus seventy five thousand will give you your prime cost, which is one lakh ninety five thousand. So from uh, your prime cost, after finding your prime cost, we need to find out your factory overhead. The percentage for it is found out through the working note using the previous year's data. So according to working note, factory overhead percentage based on the previous year data is sixty percent. So sixty percent on what? On direct wages. So you go to the current year. We will go to the current year. So sixty percent on direct wages. So how much is your direct wages for your current year? Seventy five thousand. Seventy five thousand into sixty percentage will give you forty five thousand. So your prime cost plus your factory overhead will 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 be. Forty-five thousand plus prime cost one lakh ninety-five thousand plus factory overhead forty-five thousand will give you your total works cost, which is two lakh forty thousand. So after finding your works cost, we need to find out your administration overhead, for which calculation is already done done in your working note for the percentage. So administration overhead percentage is twenty percent. So twenty percent. Twenty percent. So your works cost is two lakh forty thousand. Two lakh forty thousand is your works cost. On that twenty percent is. On that twenty percent is two lakh forty thousand into twenty percent is forty eight thousand. So two lakh forty thousand into twenty percent will give you forty eight thousand. So works cost plus administration overhead forty eight thousand will give you two lakh eighty eight thousand, which is your cost of production. Next is your selling and distribution overhead. So, as per the working note, your selling and distribution overhead percentage is twenty eight point seven five percentage. So, twenty eight point seven five percentage on works cost. So, how much is your works cost? Works cost is two lakh forty thousand. Two lakh forty thousand into twenty eight point seven five percentage will give you sixty nine. Thousand. So, cost of production plus selling and distribution overhead will give you your total cost, which is three lakh fifty-seven thousand. Next is your profit. You can either we use this technique or you can either use this. This might be simpler for whom the uh, conversion table is not familiar. So, in this problem, we know the cost. We don't know the sell sell selling price. So, we can use the formula profit divided by cost into hundred. So, how much is the profit for the previous year? Six lakh sixty thousand nine hundred. So, sixty thousand nine hundred. So, This is the previous year's cost sheet. Sixty thousand nine hundred divided by sales. I'm sorry, divided by cost, which is three lakh four thousand five hundred into hundred. From the previous year's data, we found out that percentage is twenty percent.
we have considered cost but in this working note they have considered sales then they have converted uh, then they have used conversion table and they have converted so we are used directly cost here so you will get 20 percent on cost so 20 percent on cost so this is your estimated cost sheet your cost is how much three lakh fifty seven thousand three lakh fifty seven thousand into twenty percent will give you seventy one thousand four hundred so total cost plus your profit will give you 4,28,400. So total cost is how much? 3,57,000. So the profit is 71,400 divided by 4,28,000. Uh, 71,400 the total when you add this both you will get 4,28,400 so I will repeat this your total cost is 3,57,000 so profit to find out so on 3,57,000 into 20% will give you 71,400 so you add 3,57,000 plus 71,400 you will be getting 428,400 so this is your working note to find out how did you get 20 percent so this is your previous year's figures so the percentage will always be found out taking into consideration your previous year's figures for your estimated cost sheet please do remember that The next problem is problem number 2.7. Job number 7 and 18 was commenced on 10th October 2015 and completed on 1st November 2015. Materials usual issued were used were rupees 600 and labor charged directly to the job was rupees 400. Other informations were as follows. Machine number 215 used for 48 uh, 40 hours. The machine hour rate is rupees 3.50. Machine number 169 used for 30 hours. The machine hour rate is rupees 4. Six welders worked on the job for 5 days of 8 hours each. The direct labor hour rate for welder is 20 paise. Other expenditure of the concern not apportioned for calculating the machine hour or the direct hour rates amounted to rupees 20,000. The total direct wages for the period B 20,000 ascertain the work cost of job number 718 so in this problem they've given you the expenses direct expenses like a dire materials used were rupees 600 so materials used were rupees 600 and labor charges directly labor wages or wages is also given direct wages rupees 400 and they've given you other information telling that machine machine means it is set in the factory so it will come under your factory overheads so machine and the workers for the factory expenses also will come under factory overheads. So what, what is it stated is machine number 215 used for 40 hours. So that means it is worked for 40 hours and for one hour the rate is rupees 3.50. So 3 rupees 50 paise. Then machine number 169 was used for 30 hours. The machine hour rate for one hour is rupees 4. So you will multiply the number of hours into rate to find out what is that machine working hour then they have stated six welders worked on the job for five days so how many welders six so how many days five days of eight hours each so they have worked for eight hours each so the direct hour rate for welders is 20 paise so six into five into eight hours into um what is a rupee for one for labor hour rate for one hour it is 20 paise so you will multiply six into five into eight into twenty then other expenditure so till here we will do the problem and i will come back with this other expenditure explanation so this is your job cost sheet for job number 718 so date started 10, october 10 2015 and the date finished is 1st november 2015 this is now date is taken as per the question so particulars materials is 600 as mentioned in the question materials is 600 and labor is 400 so material 600 labor 400 so your material plus labor will give you your prime cost which is 1000 next your factory overhead so we have your machines and welders expenses so we will be considering that so there are two machines machine number 215 and machine number 169 so as per the question they have stated machine number 215 worked for 40 hours 
machine number 215 used 40 hours the machine hour rate is 3.50 so we have taken here machine number 215 how many hours it is worked for 40 hours what is the rate 3.50 each so 40 into 3.5 will give you 140 then you have machine number 169 169 worked for 30 hours the R rate is rupees 4 so 30 into 4 will 30 into 4 will give you 120 then the welders welders work work time and the rate as it is mentioned six welders worked on job for five days of eight hours and for rupees 20 paise per hour so six welders they worked for five days and for eight hours for one hour it is 20 paise so 0 0.20 so the total is multiply 6 into 5 into 8 into 0 0.20 will give you 48 now we'll come into the calculation of other expenses what is stated in the problem is other expenditure of the concern not apportioned for calculating the machine R or the direct R rates amounted to 20,000 total direct wages for the period being 20,000. It means other expenditure which is not a portion which is not taken into the consideration of machine R or direct art rates but the expense expend, expenses were 20,000 and the total direct wages for the period were being 20,000 so you will find out the percentage of it and you will charge it so they have told here your other exp expenses which were not portioned based on machine R or direct R rate it was a portion based on the direct exp direct wages so as per the calculation here other expenses are charged at 100% of direct wages as calculated below so other expenses that means other expenses are taken over or uh, are taken as a percentage of direct wages so the previous year other expenses were 20,000 and the total direct wages were 20,000 so looking into the figures itself you can estimate that the 100% of it was taken your other expenses were considered as 100% of your total direct wages so for for so here we will consider using the formula other expenses divided by direct wages into 100 your other expenses is 20000 and your direct wages is also 20000 into 100 so which will give you 100% so as per your previous data other expenses and direct wages were 20 were 20000 so your direct wages were 20000 and your uh, uh, direct wages were 20,000 and direct expenses were 20,000. So this year also based on that previous year's percentage you will consider your other expenses that is what is stated in the problem. So based on your previous years the expenses is uh, other expenses 20,000 and direct wages 20,000 into 100. It means a part of your direct wages is considered as other expenses. So when you look into the amount both are equal that means 100% of your other expenses have been considered direct which is 100% of your direct wages is considered as other expenses for your previous year data. So 20,000 divided by 20,000 into 100 will give you 100%. So this year based on which they have considered last year based on the direct wages. So this year also you will be considering your other expenses based on your direct wages. So your direct wages or labor are similar. So your labor is 400 so 400 into 100 percent will give you your other expenses so 400 into 100 percent will give you 400 so when you add up all your factory overhead you will be getting 708 as there are no other expenses here your works cost will be the last uh, last entry to be passed so your thousand prime cost plus your total of your works cost works overhead 708 will give you 1708 thank you everyone